Hello everybody, I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, it's raining here in Los Angeles, which is a great day to stay inside anyway and uh, read some poetry. So, um, welcome to Poetry in the PM. I've been having so much fun with you guys doing this every day and uh, I want to start as I start every day by thanking our healthcare workers and anybody uh, who is working in hospitals. Uh, whether you're a janitor, a cleaner, a cook, a doctor, a nurse, anyone, uh, thank you so much. I, I cannot tell you how much uh, myself and everybody I know appreciates you, uh, all, all the doctors and nurses working on the front lines, um, trying to save lives the best you can while sacrificing yours. Uh, so much respect for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, the poem that I'm reading today, um, I actually don't know who wrote it. Uh, and it was sent to me in my DMs on Instagram by a woman named Zoe92 underscore SW. And she says, Hi, I'm an NHS nurse from the UK, and I came across this several days ago. Whilst it was written with the NHS in my mind, um, I feel like this applies to every country at the moment. Please share. Um, so... Um, I thought this poem was uh, beautiful. It's obviously very, um, very fitting. It's very literal. It's about what's going on right now in the world. And um, as you guys may or may not know, uh, today is the uh, season 16 finale of Grey's Anatomy. Tonight is going to be our last episode of the season. Uh, everything has been building towards this point and since, as you know, Grey's Anatomy is a show about doctors and nurses and healthcare workers, um, I thought what better way to celebrate our finale than about honoring, uh, you know, reading a poem that honors all our healthcare workers. So um, I'm going to read you this poem that this woman, Zoe, sent me. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's very beautiful. And it's a, um, it's a thank you. It's an honor to everybody who is uh, working tirelessly uh, in the healthcare community. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna read it for you guys. I'll tell you a tale that's been recently come to light of a powerful army tasked with an impossible fight. They didn't have bombs and they didn't have planes. They fought with their hearts and they fought with their brains. They didn't have bullets, armed with just a mask. We sent them to war with one simple task, to show us the way to lead and inspire us, to protect us from harm and fight off the virus. It couldn't be stopped by our bulletproof vests. An invisible enemy invaded our chests. So we called on our weapon, our soldiers in blue, all doctors, all health workers, your country needs you. We clapped on our streets, hearts bursting with pride as they went off to war while we stayed inside. They struggled at first as they searched for supplies, but they stared down the virus in the whites of its eyes. They leaped from the trenches and didn't think twice. Some never came back, the ultimate price. So tired, so weary, yet still they fought on, as the virus was beaten and the battle was won. The many of us owe so much to so few. The brave and the bold are heroes in blue. So let's line the streets and remember our debt. We love you, our heroes, lest we forget. <sighs> Whoever wrote this poem uh, did a very fantastic job um, of capturing uh, the feeling and making incredible um, metaphors uh, for uh, the soldiers that all these healthcare workers are uh, fighting this invisible foe. And um, it's what makes it so challenging. Um, I think the hardest thing about this disease from all the healthcare workers that I know and doctors and surgeons that I know that have been telling me is that you can be 
carrying it and, and not symptomatic for quite some time. And so that's what's so nasty about this thing is you can have it and be spreading it and have absolutely no idea and feel the healthiest you've ever felt. Um, so that's why it's really important we all stay inside and do our part uh, to help these doctors. Um, tomorrow, I'm very excited to uh, welcome another guest, uh, another doctor. You Gray's Anatomy uh, folks might know. And that is the lovely Janine Mason, uh, who played uh, Dr. Sam Bellow on Grey's Anatomy. Um, I met Janine working together. Obviously, our, our, our characters uh, knew each other and had a romantic history, and we got to know each other, and she's just such a lovely, lovely light. And uh, I, uh, I couldn't uh, help but think of her in this time where I'm trying to collect different people and from different um, cultures and backgrounds. Um, and uh, so she is Cuban on both sides, Janine Mason. And so she's going to read some Cuban poems, uh, which I'm so excited for. And, uh, and then I'll be reading them in English. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, South America is just so uh, rich um, for uh, poetry and, and literature. So I think we could just spend a really long time there. Um, but I'm excited to have Janine uh, tomorrow. Uh, if you guys... Um, don't know, Janine has, has, uh, left, uh, Grey's Anatomy and she's now been the star of Roswell, New Mexico on the CW, uh, amazing show. And I hope you guys check her out there as well. Or if you don't know about her, that you go look her up and watch her show. But tomorrow you'll get to see her and meet her and find out how, she, how lovely she is. So, um, I will go now to the comments for a little bit and, uh, see if you guys have any questions. So, uh, yeah, ask me some questions. What do you want to know? Can I tell you anything? You got any questions about tonight? Let me, let me hear it. Le Grandissima in Roswell, New Mexico. Okay, great. Because that Janine's really great in Roswell. So that's awesome to hear. Do a live with Stefania. Definitely going to be doing a live with Stefania. Got to get that together. She will read the poems in Spanish. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So she's, she's bringing two Cuban poems and she's going to be reading them in Spanish. Uh, sending a kiss to Portugal. Uh, hello from Germany. Ciao Italia. Mi mancate. Un abbraccio a tutti in Italia. Hello from Finland. Will you do a live with Ellen? I hope so. We certainly have a lot of time on our hands, so I don't, I don't think this is going away anytime soon, so I think I have plenty of time to, uh, to get guests. I'm watching Grace Anatomy right now. <laughs> Good. Well, you can watch the new episode tonight. Hello from Colombia. Hey, Colombia. Hello from Naples. Napoli, un abbraccio. Hi from your wife. Okay, my wife is saying hello. Hello, wife. Uh, we want a live with you and the wifey. That's coming up soon. It's coming up soon. We're, we're planning that. Do you know Sebastian Stan? He's from Romania. I don't. Ciao from Toronto. Brazil, of course, Brazil. Oi, Brazil. Ciao, Italia. Hello from El Salvador. Spanish with question marks. I don't know what that means. Spanish? Um, tell Ellen to... Tell Ellen to read a poem in Italian. Hey, maybe. Yeah, that, that, we'll see if she's up to the challenge. Hi from Blackpool. I don't know where Blackpool is. Why don't you guys tell me where Blackpool is? Ciao from Roma. Roma, Roma, Roma. Mandami un supplì. Dai. Uh, oh, por Dios, que bellezza. Say hello, Ottavia, in Italian, please. Ciao, Ottavia. Louisiana. I don't think we've got one from Louisiana. Hello. I've not been there yet. Um, is there going to be another season of Grey's? That I know there is. Um, we've certainly been picked up for another season. I don't know when that's going to be shooting, though. Um, what, what can we expect about tonight's episode? Oh, God, I think Krista posted something today on her Twitter that was like, you're going to laugh at least once, you're going to cry at least once, you're going to scream at your TV at least once. And uh, and those 
at least are very uh, conservative. So I think that's that's yeah. It's a finale, guys. If you can, if you've been watching the show this long for sixteen seasons, you know what our finales are. You know, it's we're gonna ramp up to a huge, huge, huge uh, climax, cliffhangers, resolving of some issues, births of new ones. So it's definitely not one uh, you're gonna want to miss. I'm pumped. Me too. Just tell me no one is dying. I don't know. I can't promise anything. Season 17 of Grey's Anatomy. Yes. Do you like how DeLuca has had some more emotional scenes this season? I do. Yeah, it's been really satisfying to uh, to play from uh, an actor's perspective. Uh, forecast to start 17... I, I don't know. I don't know. Hello from Downey, California. Tragedy. Hi from Victoria. Huge Grey's fans. Um, baci dalla Calabria. Andrà tutto bene. Dai. Un bacio. Uh, read a poem in Italian. I did read a poem in Italian. I read a Roman poem by Trilussa, uh, one of our most famous Roman poets. But yeah, I definitely got to read some more in Italian. I'm happy to do that. Is it weird kissing people you don't want to kiss? Um, well, our characters want to kiss them. So we just kind of hop into our characters' minds and emotions, and they really want to kiss those people. So you just kind of, uh, it's kind of like getting on a horse. You just are along for the ride. And then director calls cut, and then you get off the horse. And uh, you you see what you just did. So it's, 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 less, um, it's less thinking and more just feeling. Um, Merluca stands are totally hopeless. Merluca stands are totally hopeless. Do you have anything to say to us? <laughs> I don't know. I just gonna have to keep watching, guys. I'm sorry. How do you speak Spanish? Uh, I don't really speak Spanish, but I can kind of get along. Merlink or Merluca? Merluca, come on, guys. How do you feel about ending of the show? Um. I don't know. I don't know. The, the show's not ending. I don't think so. I don't think we have to think about that quite yet. Hello from Malta. Malta, that's a new one. How do you think your character is going so far in the show? Um, I don't really know what that means. How is he going in the show? Um... Yeah, I don't really know if it's for me to say. I mean, he's he's having an experience right now, and uh, I think uh, he's definitely going through a battle, and he's trying to navigate it. The people around him are trying to navigate it, and um, and it's new to everybody. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot right now for, for, for DeLuca. Uh, but like always, he really cares about people. He really cares about what he does. Um, as a doctor, as a surgeon, as someone who wants to care for people and and uh, save their lives. So at the root of his uh, instability, there is still a, a really big heart. And I hope that people see that. Um, one word in French. Bonjour, Julie. Uh, does your wife get jealous when you kiss Ellen? <laughs> no, God, no. How long after the show airs does it go on Hulu? Um, the next day. So yeah, if you're in America, I don't know the rest of the world, but uh, I certainly um, have caught the show on Hulu before and it, it airs the next day. So tonight, um, if you don't have uh, cable or live television like I do, uh, you can catch it the next day uh, on Hulu, uh, the Grey's Anatomy episodes. Hello from Israel. I'm working so hard to get someone from Israel to do a poem in Hebrew. So just uh, bear with me there. Quanto assomiglia caratteremente De Luca Giacomo? So an Italian person just asked me how similar am I to my character? I don't, I don't think we're very... Um, similar, but uh, we certainly have similar traits. I mean, if you boil him down, he's ambitious, he cares about people, he has a big heart, um, 
he loves his family, and so I can definitely relate to those kind of broader strokes. Um, but uh, the more kind of nuances of uh, of Deluca, I think he still has a lot to figure out um, that I luckily have. Hey, Peter, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. Send me a loaf of that bread you're baking, brother. Um, Mm-hmm. Hello from Wales. God, I gotta go there. Wales just looks beautiful. Hello, Ella from New York. Napoli. Ciao, Napoli. The comments are so fast. Like, if you, if you, if you send me more than, like, a line, it's just, like, it disappears in two seconds, which is amazing. Thank you all for, for tuning in. This is really beautiful. Um, can you say something in Spanish? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. Can I get a hi? Hi, Alex Jarina 6 Hello from Austria. Um, so yeah, tonight's the finale, guys. I hope you guys tune in on ABC. Uh, don't miss it. Um... And, uh, yeah, it's been a really amazing season and thank you guys so much for always tuning in. Like every time we have a table read, you know, Krista and Debbie Allen and, and everybody's always talking about how good the ratings are and how much you guys show up and, and show us love. So thank you so much for, for a show to be in its 16th season and still see, be so beloved and, and, and engaged by its fans. This is a really magical thing. So, um, we do it for you guys. So thank you so much for, uh, going on the journey and, uh, Enjoy tonight's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's, uh, uh, today's poem. And tomorrow, please join me for another Poetry in the PM with my guest Janine Mason, uh, also known as Dr. Sam Bello, and, um, and Liz on uh, Roswell, New Mexico. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with her at 2 p.m. for another episode of Poetry in the PM. Love you guys so much. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Stay inside. Be well. Uh, sending you a lot of positivity and health, okay? Bye-bye.